My name is Mick Ebling, and I love the concept of technology and creativity colliding. Well, I was born in Long Beach, California, and then moved out to Phoenix, Arizona, Tempe, Phoenix, Arizona. Grew up in a fantastic family. Parents were married until the day my dad died. So uh, every summer, e literally every summer, we would go on a family vacation, and we'd go on the same family vacation every year. And we would camp at two campsites every single time we would leave the campground. My dad would always say, you always leave the campground cleaner than when you found it. And looking back now, it's one of those things that ever so subtly just ingrained a certain way of thinking into my brother and I in terms of just trying to make the world a slightly better place. In 2009, I got bit by this bug of using and hacking technology for the sake of humanity and taking technology and actually applying it to things that are gonna create a, a more global good. I came back from dinner one night after having a conversation with a friend of mine and he told me about this doctor out in South Sudan who was helping the people of the Nuba Mountains who were getting bombed and, and there was a large number of amputees out there. Um, went online and, and researched him a little bit and was just blown away by his story and the story of a young boy named Daniel who Dr. Tom had helped stitch up. And that story for me was one of those stories that you couldn't just read it. It was just something that stuck in me that I had to do something. Earlier in the summer, we had just interviewed a guy named Richard Van Aas. He created this 3D printed prosthetic solution that was amazing and now he was making it for other kids who needed it. We ended up going to Africa we found Daniel, which that was a miracle in and of itself, that we found this young boy who at the time was in a 70,000 person refugee camp. When we put the arm on him for the first time, all of a sudden he started to see, oh my, oh my gosh, I've got an arm now. And that I think was the moment for him where he got it. Like he totally understood, like I am gonna have this extension now and it works. After we made the arm for him, he was able to feed himself. We made our, our trip up to Dr. Tom and then we taught about eight or nine young men who were working at the hospital how to 3D print and how to make these arms themselves. In my life, if I can keep causing or being exposed to those moments of realization, those like pure moments of just aha, like oh my gosh, and doing that in a way that's actually like pushing society forward and advancing us as a species, then man, that's, that's, that's all I can wish for. The thing that I'm most excited about is that this has awoken the realization that this is not rocket science. If we can continue to show people that technology is not this foreign, inaccessible thing that you can't actually use, but it's something that's very real and that can help the world and help individuals within, their, within the world, then, then Project Daniel is gonna be the first of many things. My name is Mick Ebling, and this is my story.